This tutorial will focus on upgrading or importing an assessment created in a previous version of CSET into this version of the tool. Note that this is a major change to the system architecture and previous file types cannot be opened directly. To upgrade a previous assessment, click on the Open an Existing Assessment button. A file selection screen is shown with both .cset and .orxml files displayed. If you open the .orxml file, then the tool will begin the upgrade process. We will now select the Red Rocks plant assessment file, which was created under CSET version 4.1. This notification screen lets you know that the file selected must be upgraded before it can be used. Click Yes to continue. The text on this screen provides a brief overview of the upgrade process. It is recommended that you briefly review the information in the help system to understand how answers are mapped. You will notice that there is not a one-to-one -one mapping of answers. Take a moment to review the process to better understand how the conversion is managed. The new file name field shows the assessment file that you're migrating. The mode options do not affect the translation. The assessment will be mapped into both requirements and questions modes. This option simply opens the assessment to the selected mode once the upgrade is completed. The list of standards show those that were filled out in the previous assessment. To change the priority, simply click and drag the standard to the correct position. This position matters when mapping to the universal questions. For example, if a universal question maps to the same basic question from two standards, and if standard two was answered no, and standard one was answered yes, then the highest priority takes precedence, and the universal answer is marked as a yes for that question. The priority does not apply to requirements-based questions where each standard is treated independently and marked exactly as answered. When the priority ordering has been set, click on the Ready to Upgrade button. The tool will begin to convert the previous assessment. The progress bar indicates what actions are being taken. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the number of standards. The component diagram will be imported, but the component questions will not be migrated due to the significant changes in the approach to how the component questions are handled. When the upgrade is complete, the tool will open the information screen. When the upgrade is complete, you may need to tweak the diagram to adjust for the differences in icon size or placement. You should also open the standards and check for any unanswered questions. If the category on the tree structure does not have a check, then there are unanswered questions. In our example, there are several questions that need to be answered under the topic Risk Management and Assessment. This concludes the tutorial on upgrading a previous assessment.